Hi friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by today. So in today's video, um, I'm going to be doing something a little different. Let me start by saying I am still a little sick. I'm trying to get my voice back, but I could not hold off without filming any longer. Last month, um, I did a BoxyCharm comparison with the base box and the premium. This month, because we all know that the BoxyCharm premium was all Fenty products this month. So what I'm going to do instead of doing a comparison because there's not um, a lot to compare because it's all one brand. What I'm going to do is try on the products, the Fenty products in the premium box. Show you what colors I got and then put we'll apply them. I'll go ahead and get started. So I did already put on uh, my foundation, concealer, brows, powder, um, because that stuff that's not in the box. And I did happen to have the Fenty uh, Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in number 120. That's what it looks like. <coughs> and then the Fenty Beauty Concealer, uh, Pro Filter Concealer in 120 as well. I did use that today. And I also used the Fenty Beauty uh, Butter Instant Retouch Powder. Looks like that. That's what's on my face now. And then my brows are not Fenty, they're just my tried and true that I always use. So we're gonna go ahead and just get started. Okay, so the box does look like this. I'm sure you've seen this. It just has the Fenty information on it and it has the, the wrapping and all of that. And then it has the little card. Um, and of course, there's no variation. <clears throat> because Everybody pretty much got the same thing. It's just different colors that you would have gotten. So let's go ahead and start with the first thing I see in here, which is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging is very pretty and sleek. This is what the back looks like. This retails for $29. has a mixture of matte, Satin Pearl Metallic and Shimmer Finishes. It looks like this. Very, very pretty on the outside. Very pretty. I'm surprised that it only retails for $29. That's very affordable. These are what the colors look like. Just a variety of neutrals and a couple <coughs> pops of color. Okay, I'm excited about that. So that does, like I said, retail for $29. When I found out that we were getting a Fenty box this month, I was super excited. I'm on a no-buy, and I've been wanting to buy some of her stuff for a while now. And so it was really nice to get this. The next thing that I see is the Fenty Beauty Madame Moiselle Plush Matte Lipstick. Mine is in the color Single. It says here that it's a... Um, Long wearing petal soft matte finish, available in rainbow of weightless color and tint shades, designed to flatter all skin types. This is what it looks like. Very sleek packaging. So mine is in the color single. It looks like this, really pretty, kind of mauvey. Um, and we'll be trying everything on in this video. The next thing I see. <coughs> is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. I do have one of her highlighters already, which I'm gonna be using in this video as well. Um, and it is the Hustler Baby. It's like that pinky toned, and I'm gonna use this as a blush today since um, I didn't get a blush, so it's a little bit deeper, but it has like a pinky tone, kind of rosy gold is what it reminds me of um, to it. Man, this is really, really big. I love her packaging. <coughs> It's definitely going to last a very long time. I heard that this wasn't the best color for um, more fair skinned, but I'm excited to have it in my collection. Definitely would love to use it on the eyelids. Okay, I also got a Invisa, uh, Invisa Matte Blotting Papers. Um, I'm not really an oily girl, but I'm glad to have this just to have in 
my purse. It comes in this packaging like this, as you guys have seen. I'm going to leave that like that for now because I'm not going to use that in this video. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer. I have one of these as well. <clears throat> and the smaller one, I believe it's in the color... Fenty Glow, it's in this little one. It came in a little gift set. I absolutely love that, so I know I'm going to love this as well. I think her glosses are one of the best on the market. Um, I love the smell of them. I think they're really, really good. So we're also going to be using that today. And then the last thing I have is the Matchstick Shimmer Stick. This is in the color Blonde. And I don't know how well this is going to look on my skin. Um... This is what the packaging looks like. <coughs> it's like almost the same color as the highlighter that I got. So we're going to just go in and we're going to try this on before putting that highlighter on. So let's go ahead and just get started. I have the rest of my face. I will say that that foundation, it's a little drying on my skin, but I did get a tip from a friend and... <coughs> I think she, her channel here is Miracle Makeup or Miracle Beauty. I'll leave her down below. But she had let me know she's also dry. And she said to try the Glossy Skin Balm that we got in our BoxyCharm uh, months back. And I do feel like that really helped it a lot with the hydration on the skin. So I'm really happy about that. Um, of course, this did not have bronzer. So I just went ahead and used one I already had. So we're going to just start quickly with the eyes. I'm going to take the palette and I'm going to place, um, it doesn't look like they have an all over shade. So I'm going to just take this one from the Modern Renaissance and place that all over my lid to make a base. I did put concealer on my lid already. Okay, just like that. All right, that's done. Oh, I'm going to take this shade here, which is like a peachy toned, uh, what is that one called? Maybe Fez Up, no wait, Mirage. I'm going to take that into my crease. I'm going to do this Essence, um, eye blender brush. I've never tried any of her shadows or anything. Wow, I barely went in that. That's very pigmented. Very, you guys can see that. I know you can. It's very, very pigmented. And I'm not going to do anything like too overly done. I don't really do a lot of looks like that anyways, but for the sake of the video and just, you know, in general, we're just going to keep it very simple today. <clears throat> it's a very beautiful kind of peachy shade. It looks more like, like a burnt um orange but not too burnt but then it comes off really nice very very pretty you know what i'm gonna bring that shade all the way down onto my lid as well and just let it be like an all over full shade because i'm just feeling that way today They have a ton of beautiful shades in here. So this was an unboxing, but a try on as well.
That's really, really pretty. Can you see that? Sure you guys can. All the brush. <coughs> I'm going to go in a little bit in this um, kind of brown shade. I think it's called So so good to me, maybe? No. <coughs> I don't even know, to be honest. What in the world? I don't know what the shade is. I'm sorry. It's this one right here. And I'm just going to take that ever so lightly into the actual crease. Just to kind of deepen that just a little bit. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm being very light-handed with it because um, I'm pretty sure it can get rich. Sorry if you hear my son and my dog. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to really enjoy this palette. Look how pretty that is. I know I was saying I was keeping it easy. and But you know, you can't try on a palette and not try the stuff out, right? I always feel like this side of my eye is always not the best. I think I'm going to take some of this rosy gold right there. I don't know what it's called. <coughs> and I'm going to place that like in the inner parts just to give it a little bit something. Like this one here, it's like a really pretty like maroonish color and I'm going to run that on my lower lash line. Wow, very, very gently dabbed and that thing is pigmented. I really can't wait to play more in this and like do some really fun looks. Even though it's more of a uh, neutrals. Well, that's it for the eyes for now. The only thing I'm going to say about her packaging that's going to aggravate me is all the fingerprints because everything's so pretty and so shiny and sparkly. So anyways, enough about that. Let's move on with this on to the cheekbones. And I'm just going to put it right there and then blend it in. And this may not work for me. I may have to pass this along. Unless I can find other ways to use it, maybe on my eyes. But it's very, very dark. Compared to my skin tone, I don't think it's going to work. And I probably shouldn't have did it like that. Because... Now I can't get it to blend out, and it could just be because I put it over my powder products. How are you supposed to use the matchstick? I don't know. Well, there that is. That's okay. I'm not going to say I absolutely love it. It is kind of moving my foundation. I do think I forgot to tell you guys how much the rest of the stuff was. The Kilowatt highlighter was 36 
The shimmer matchstick was 25. I told you the eyeshadow palette was 29. The glossy balm was 19. The lip plush matte lipstick was 18. The invisible blotting paper was 16. My Fenty Beauty, um, <coughs> excuse me, Hustler Baby. And I'm just gonna apply that as a blush. Hopefully it will look okay on my cheeks. It's gonna be very shimmery. Mm. Don't think I like it as a blush. I'm just gonna be very sparked out today. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the Kilowatt and just gently apply some of that on the tops of my cheeks even though I have so much glow already going on. This is a very, oh man, like I barely put my brush in it. I have to say, I'm not sure this is gonna work for me, but it's beautiful. <coughs> I put just a littlest amount and I am lit, not literally, but um, you'll see in my face. So I'm going to quickly go off and put mascara on my eyes and then I'll come back and then we will finish up with the lips. Right, so I went ahead and did my uh, mascara and we're just going to finish up with the lips. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead first and put this, the Fenty Beauty uh, Matte Lipstick. I think it's going to match the look that I did. I have to say it's a beautiful color. Um, in person, I wouldn't say that it's absolute favorite. Or one I would pick. It definitely matches the eye look that I'm doing. <laughs> or that I did. Excuse me. Now I'm just going to go over with a little bit of the gloss. I love the way they smell. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. Um, <coughs> excuse all the coughing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, that's me using everything except the blotting sheets in my uh, March Boxy Charm. Um, overall, I would have to say that I really am happy and pleased with it. I would have liked to get a different shade in the matchstick, um, but that's okay. I'm going to figure out how to make it work. And um, maybe in the lipstick as well. The lipstick as well, but I mean, it's not a bad color on me. And I can definitely mix it with something else. But I think it goes perfect with this eye look that I did today. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, video today and how I did it a little different. I figured since everybody had gotten the <coughs> Fenty products in their premium that I would just go ahead and try them on for you guys. Um, with you guys since I already had the foundation and the concealer and powder. I thought I would go ahead and just do that with you guys on camera. Just to make it a little different this month versus keeping it the same as every month. Um, because I did go a little longer than I wanted to on this video, we're gonna do the base box on a separate video. But in that video, I will let you know if I felt like the premium this month was better or that one was better, in my opinion, even though it's gonna be a um, all one brand box. So yeah, guys, I thank you guys so much for being so patient. Thank you for understanding while I was down and out this week and not posting on my normal schedule. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy me trying on the products and also letting you know what I got, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to hang out with us here on my channel. Um, also, thank you guys for 
uh, watching today. Thank you for your support. And this is going to complete this video today. But until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.